Hi everybody, welcome to Sucks to Suck. My name's Caitlin, let's get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today I looked through my little potting arrangement right here with my beautiful string of bananas, donkey's tail, sedums, and a few different types of echeverias. And this is an aeonium, this is aeonium, Black Rose, and I also have a Fuzzy, Fuzzy Echeveria, and I have a Ruby Slippers right here, and I have another Echeveria down there. I believe it's a Polydonis uh, Echeveria. So I would love to talk to you guys about what I found. I have found Mealybugs. Not just one, not just two, but many, many mealybugs. So I believe the best thing to do with this pot is to go ahead and pull it apart. I am thinking I'm going to put my sedum's donkey tail in a whole nother arrangement that we'll do another time. Kind of like a, a hanging basket, which is gonna be really cool. And then I also, I think that's what I'm going to do, but the rest of them look really pretty. I want to pull it apart, take a look at what the Milo Bucks have done to the roots. There's a few strands of bananas that I have found Milo Bucks on the roots, so let's take a look. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to essentially just dig out my succulents. I'm going to dig them out. This arrangement has been in this cute little uh, rectangular pot that I, it's plastic, I got from Home Depot. No, Lowe's, Lowe's. I got it at Lowe's. So you can get this. I believe it was like $3, $4. Pretty good deal. And I filled it up, filled it up with, you know, my regular Old Joe potting mixture. So I'm going to be very careful with handling my sedum donkey's tail because those little leaves just pop off. They pop off, they pop off, and you can propagate them. But, oh, this is what they look like. I have no idea if you can see this, but this is a tiny, 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 tiny sedum donkey tail from a leaf. Not really worth your time. You can, but not worth your time. So I'm going to slowly figure out where I kind of want to do this. I want to maybe pull, oh. Well, it looks as if I could maybe, I want to be very careful. And it's okay if you get dirty. That is my Aeonium Black Rose. Gorgeous. They're very beautiful Aeoniums. They don't look too happy right now, so we are going to inspect. So, those are just some top dress dressing that I put up there. Okay, the stem feels Stem feels all right. I'm looking at the roots now. And I don't really see mealybugs in the roots, which is really a wonderful thing. Rose 
It's gorgeous. It's droopy. I found mealy bugs on it earlier, so I decided to spray it with alcohol. I have noticed that my plants aren't very happy when I spray it with alcohol, so um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to give it some water. I'm looking inside the leaves, not just on top. Uh, reminiscence of remnants of mealy bugs and there are to be honest there are but the roots look just fine and I don't know if you can see the roots right here they look fine if you see this kind of white type of white stuff those are new roots forming so you don't want to hurt those, but all in all, I'm happy about this one. I'm gonna put it right there, it's like a block. There's some, um... okay. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna take out parts of this because they wrapped themselves around each other. I'm just kind of doing it gently. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Pulling it out. since I sprayed the string of bananas, ever since I sprayed them, something's been going on with them. Like, <clears throat> they've been getting dry. See, I see some mealybug. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take it off. I don't want to spray it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to spray them again. They've dried up. Pretty nice. Just inspecting. curious about is these little guys. I'll show you. They kind of look like bulbs on the end of the root, like a root bulb. So I'm, I've never, 
I didn't know that. I didn't know that they would have like little bulbs. It's really neat. Ugh, they're long. Oh, here, I'll show you. Look at that. How neat is that? That's like a little root ball. <laughs> Love it. I wasn't expecting to see that many mealybugs and I wasn't expecting to take off this whole group ball. But at the end of the day, can't help it. So after I have taken out the string of bananas and I clipped them out and I went ahead and I watered them, I, I washed them off. Um, I kept the roots that I could keep that didn't have mealybugs on them. Next, I'm going to start taking apart the sedum donkey's tail. Now this is interesting. We ought to take a look at this. See that? This right here is rot. But the interesting part is that it started to take and throw off some roots at the top of that. Uh, I don't know what to do yet. I, I don't know what to do. But you can tell it's not very happy. Still alive, but I'm gonna have to make some decisions about this. means I need to look at the other one to see if it's brought in as well. So it's interesting. I hadn't, you know, I hadn't watered this too much. Um, so I, I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Next.
So what I'm going to be doing now is just cleaning the sedums off. So I have a bowl of water. I'm just going ahead and clean, cleaning the, off the little pieces. Kind of have too many in there. <laughs> thinking that what I'm going to do is finish up, clean up here, I'm going to repot the sedums into a hanging basket and then I will show you all the end product. I want to thank you all for watching my little project that I've been doing and please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching and my name is Caitlin and this is Sucks to Suck. <laughs>